Hey guys, and welcome back to Vlogs and Frogs. My name's Ryan Peterson, for those of you who don't know, and today, we're out here camping, and we have found a billion gazillion cicadas, and we're gonna talk about them, because what the heck? Now these buggers are the very, very famous cicadas. There are over 3,000 species of cicadas across the world. They live in every continent except Antarctica. Most of them look quite similar. They grow to be about two inches in length with some stunning wings, and some species are more green and black. Some are mixed and some have slight patterns, but they're all beautiful. Now, before they get to the big, bug-eyed, loud flying guy, they start as an alien. Well, first as an egg laid in a hole in a tree branch or bush, and then the eggs hatch and the alien comes out. This brown creepy crawly then burrows into the ground and lays low until it's time to become the big flying guys. Now this is where it gets even more fun. There are annual and periodical cicadas. Most of them around the world are annual and then there is the eastern half of the United States. That's where the weird periodicals come in. Now these guys are so, so fascinating to study because they stay as that little brown alien for 13 or 17 years. Yeah, that's right. They stay as an alien underground, feeding on sap from plant roots, and then come out. And usually come out in the millions, or billions. Just at the beginning of this summer of 2024, these two broods of them came out in the same year. These two crazy large groups of periodical cicadas came out at once. This last happened in 1803. And if it caused you a lot of stress, don't worry, because it should only happen again in about 221 years. But don't worry, you won't be here for that. Many people fear these beasts because they are loud, like some up to 110 decibels. Yeah, that's right. Now, if you're like me and you had no idea what that meant at first, a chainsaw comes in at about 100 decibels, and there are millions, if not billions, of these buggers. It gets pretty crazy, doesn't it? They start to sound like this. Now again, these periodical beasts range across the eastern United States, with Illinois being a very large target from this year's chaos broods. Now they come out in springtime and cause chaos with all their loud noises, and then die a few weeks later. That's right, many of them only live a few weeks after they molt and become their flying adult self. Just enough time for them to find a lover, and do the special deed, and then the cycle of the cicadas begins again. Wow. They are such a cool critter to study, and I am very, very excited to read more into these buggers. So we love you guys and gals, and we can't wait to see you back here learning something new next week. See ya!